My name is Elisa Tibbs, and this is my photo story project for Education 632, Section 390 at Liberty University. Teachers have always been tasked with holding the attention of their students. There are a variety of methods which teachers choose to accomplish that goal. The pattern of practice I chose for this photo story is reading and writing workshops. Many children do not enjoy school because someone is always telling them what to do, but sometimes they just want to be left alone. The essence of the workshop is individuality and freedom. By allowing students to choose texts and topics of their own interests, the teacher hopes the students will not only appreciate, but also enjoy their time spent reading or writing. An engaging text is only the first step. There are several other considerations that the teacher must make in order for reading comprehension and the writing process to improve. After choosing their text, students read silently while the teacher meets individually with each student to discuss his progress and any questions or struggles he might have. Students share their responses to the books in small groups called sharing sessions. Teachers conduct many lessons of about 15 minutes to cover any reading or writing strategies that might be useful or any objectives required for standardized testing. Finally, assessments are conducted often throughout a class progress chart, which is posted in the room and updated daily or weekly. Books are chosen according to the student's individual level, so material should be challenging, but neither too difficult nor too easy. This can be particularly useful in addressing needs of a classroom diverse in reading ability. Students receive individualized help as opposed to vying for attention during class. This may help deter students who have previously acted out to receive individual attention. Teachers can build strong relationships with students during the one-on-one -on -one conferences, which allows the teachers to better understand and teach all of the children. Imagine the boy pictured has been struggling with reading and writing. His teacher praises him as he writes during a writing workshop. She reminds him that it is good for him to learn at his own pace and level. During reading workshop, his choice will be from the pre-reading section, though others may choose from level 1 or level 2 books. Silent reading will allow him to read at a comfortable pace. He will receive feedback privately in conference. As it is not in a group setting, he will not be embarrassed in front of his peers. This also affords him time to practice discussing the book in a safe environment with only the teacher before he attempts describing the book to his peers. As the teacher spends significant time working with students in a one-on-one -on -one setting, this leaves the rest of the class unattended. Students may become distracted and not stay on task, completing their work as expected. Some students may become discouraged if they have difficulty with the text or assignments and the teacher is distracted with conferences. Students may be found not only off task, but contributing to the distraction of others or a chaotic classroom in general, which discourages learning. Students spend minimal time in groups and do not have enough background on each other's books to have a discussion of any depth. Students can only share brief descriptions and their own responses, which is of little interest to the other students. Some philosophers, like Meyer, suggest that collaborative workshops are an alternative to traditional workshops. This helps the students engage in the material, but also encourages discussion with their peers, and many texts will provide a viewpoint or discussion of current world matters. The purpose of collaborative reading workshops is being to model effective comprehension strategies and to generate higher order thinking through deep comprehension of texts. 
Texts are chosen for interesting pieces and may not fall under academic categories. Examples would be popular magazines or song lyrics. Text may be chosen for several reasons. Brevity, relevance to coursework, and controversy are all a part of it. Students write their most important questions from their notes on a post-it and put them on a poster like the one displayed here. A second poster is created with wonderings, errant thoughts beginning, I wonder or what if, and a third person poster with clever connections is created. Students may connect the text to another text themselves or the world. Collaborative workshops attempt to correct the lack of higher thinking involved in the reading that students do. Teachers model the way to read and comprehend a text by reading aloud and pausing to note questions, predictions, and connections and showing sections they are highlighting. Students are expected to follow along in their own text making con connections and notes of their own. Those are the notes which were displayed on the Burning Questions poster just seen.